Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Jane Kenyon, from her new and selected poems entitled Otherwise, published by Grey Wolf Press in 1996. This was the posthumous collection of her work, the poet herself having passed away from cancer uh, not too long prior to this. Um, and the poem I'm going to read is the title poem for the collection, entitled Otherwise. I got out of bed on two strong legs. It might have been otherwise. I ate cereal, sweet milk, ripe, flawless peach. It might have been otherwise. I took the dog uphill to the birchwood. All morning, I did the work I love. At noon, I lay down with my mate. It might have been otherwise. We ate dinner together at a table with silver candlesticks. It might have been otherwise. I slept in a bed, in a room with paintings on the walls, and planned another day just like this day. But one day, I know, it will be otherwise. Um, and that was Otherwise, the title poem from Otherwise, New and Selected Poems, Jane Kenyon. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the selection, well, check out the description of the video for more information about uh, Jane Kenyon and her work, as well as where to purchase this particular collection of her work, um, which will take you a link to the, uh, to the publisher's website. And uh, more information as well about other projects I'm currently um, involved with. So, uh, I, I hope uh, I hope in some small way, as we turn the corner into this brand new year, that we think with gratitude upon all the things that we have in our life, um, aware of how often it might be that things could be otherwise. I'm thankful for the the blessing it is to be able to spend time with you each uh, every few days uh, to create these videos and to celebrate the work of these wonderful poets. To think about the power of poetry to connect us and to open a door, a window into the lives of other people, uh, while at the same time perhaps causing us to look at our own lives a little bit more carefully, more thoughtfully, perhaps to even treat ourselves with a little bit more sympathy, a little bit more patience. I'm grateful for all of you and for this grand adventure of this YouTube channel that we've been on. It's small and growing. Um, but I am grateful for each of you and your interactions, whether you comment on these videos or you hit like or you share these videos on social media. I'm thankful for the ways in which it expands the reach of poetry and allows more and more people to encounter these poets, to experience what this poem and each of the other poems is, um, to live in the space of sound, uh, to be in that moment of its delivery. So I'm grateful for each of you, wishing you all the very best in the brand new year. May um, 2022 bring us, uh, well, inspiration, bring us courage, bring us opportunities to change and to grow, um, and opportunities to create. And I wish upon all of you and myself um, a greater abundance of creativity, a greater imagination for the world, um, and a greater empathy for not just those around us, but also a type of compassion that we can turn to ourselves as we struggle forward with whatever we're working on. Um, I wish us all the very best. Uh, this is a year. Last year was a year. We will keep plodding forward into years and years and years until otherwise. So until next time, stay safe and well. Keep reading, keep writing, keep being engaged with the world. Stay warm if you're in a cold climate like I am um, and enjoy the company of those around you. And uh, until we meet again, which will be in a couple days, um, stay, stay active in your work and I will stay active in mine and we'll be back again soon. I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. And uh, until next time, uh, stay safe and well. Bye.